got some breaking news we want to bring you right now. This is apparently some type of high-speed chase. The last known location was Fair Avenue and I-37. You can see a police, what looks like a police cruiser, uh, keeping its distance from this vehicle. But you can see the vehicle weaving in and out of traffic. And, not, and this vehicle is not going slowly. No. It is uh, speeding around these intersections. Look at him peeling out there, spinning out. The cops are behind him, but it looks like they're keeping their distance, trying not to get too close to him. Yeah, they are keeping an eye on him, and you have to believe the police helicopter also up on this one. We have not. There he takes the curb and turns left. Police still in pursuit. We're going to take a break. As we continue to monitor this situation, it does not look as if the guy plans on, plans on pulling over anytime soon. We're going to take a break. Looks like Bear County Sheriff's deputies in pursuit there. We'll take a break and be right back. We're going to continue to monitor this. Oh, actually, we're being told we're going to stay with this. Uh, it looks as though um, the, the vehicle's slowing down quite a bit now. That appears to be a school or factory or something right there. We're not quite sure what street this is on, but we're going to stay with this. We it, have it actually looks as if the, he just avoided a, uh, another police cruiser and ran over a trash can. Now they're going to probably try and spin him out, I would guess. Yes, he's, this is Fair and Avenue it, it looks still. As, it looks as if one of his back tires may have uh, given out on that vehicle. It looked as if it was... Spewing some well, actually, out. when he took the last turn, you could see that um, he was leaving a track. This was Hackberry and Fair Avenue. If you're in this area, you know someone in this area, be aware this guy is going against traffic. We've got police vehicles on either side of the road. Looks and like right they're going to try to block him off right now. One in front, one behind him right now. They're going to try to block him. They're trying appears. to get him to pull over. He is not. Oh, so close. barely hits that van there. There they spin him out before he gets to I-37. It is not over yet. Those are all, oh, that was another police vehicle, an unmarked vehicle. They have him surrounded at this point. All guns are drawn. They're trying to get him out. Again, this is fair in 37. It's right before 37. You can see they are on the scene with a number of unmarked vehicles as well. He appears to be on the ground now. They have him out of the vehicle. We do have a crew en route to this. We're going to get some more information about it. It appears as though the police have this completely in hand. They've got the guy on the ground. They're handcuffing him right now. He does not appear to be going peacefully, though. It appears as if there's some type of struggle on the ground there. I don't know if Sky 12 can get on the other side of the vehicle so we could get a look at what's going on down but there. You can see that they do have him on the ground. There was some sort of struggle. Again, he took off. This appears to be a BMW that he was speeding through uh, some of the neighborhoods on the east side. There they have him up, and he is being taken away. Again, Still struggling with police officers as we're watching this entire video go down. Again, this is the southeast side of town. This is at um, Fair Avenue and I-37. I uh, all this area is blocked off, obviously. Traffic not going through here while they get this guy into the police cruiser. Uh, massive effort and, and textbook uh, effort, in fact, of blocking off a speeding car being chased. Uh, they managed to flip him around and stop the car and get him blocked in. Also, a great cooperation, a great uh, uh, task of cooperation that we're seeing here between the San Antonio Police Department and the Bear County Sheriff's deputies. We saw Bear County was uh, in on this chase to begin. You can see that San Antonio Police also showed up. Uh, they are going through this vehicle. Uh, a BMW speeding through some of the east side neighborhoods. They clearly wanted to get him stopped before he got to I-37 well, and before he got to a no, uh, the traffic was much heavier. Well, it's also clear that he was not intending to go safely through traffic. He was willing to take a lot of chances and put people at risk. And again, the police department and the sheriff's department working well together using excellent techniques. I don't think anyone got hurt in this. We'll find out more when we hear from our crew on the ground. Yeah, still waiting to hear exactly what happened, why he was taking off. But again, the situation seems to be resolved.